time. It's summer time. I made myself some cookies. They're havre. They are so good. They're a little bit too thick, but they're fresh. <laughs> they taste like two of my favorite kinds of cookies almost. Um so incredibly good i am definitely going to make more it was so easy and also like when i was making them i felt like a housewife and i just thought about like buying containers for like flour and sugar and whatever i really want to move out now so that i can just bake all day and have yeah, different containers for all of the ingredients and stuff. It's yeah, I'm gonna be a housewife. <laughs> so right now it is Wednesday. I am just going to drink my coffee and eat the cookies. Probably watch YouTube or something while I'm trying to like make a bag out of the tapestry I made in the last uh, video. So yeah, cheers. Let's let's go. Hello, it's Friday. Friday. Go get back on Friday. It's around two or three o'clock so anyways i just finished i'm so excited for this so as you know i made this like tapestry and i crocheted for it to be like more of a purse vibe to it and i made just finished now the back side of it Okay, sleigh girly. I decided that I didn't want any windows on the back, like just to make it obvious that this is the back side of the house. Um, so let's put it together. I felt so smart uh, because I just used the um, like stitch fiddle picture I drew and then just flipped the image. Um, so the front and the back. I am very proud. I'm making this with the intention of selling it, maybe. I'm just not sure if I'm going to sell it on Thais. It's a um, Scandinavian Norwegian thrift store online i guess you could say or just yeah um or because i am like looking into making a website so that i can like put out everything i want and i want to sell and i also adding to that want to make some t-shirts and stuff with uh just it's saying mer time because I think that's iconic and also some of the like if I can make a design to have on the t-shirt or yeah something uh, that like sounds fun and I want to do that and it costs at least $25 or something or like up to $50 a month and I don't have like a lot of subscribers or followers on TikTok and Instagram so I'm not sure if I should wait until I have more subscribers or what I'm gonna do but it is like it, it's an investment because then I get the experience so I might actually <laughs> I might do it because I'm thinking of using Squarespace, but I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, maybe. But 
anyways uh, I'm going to make the sides I've already crocheted the bottom it's just like this green um, color I love that it's color changing between green and brown it's just oof. it just adds more realistic grass if you know what I mean so I'm definitely on the lookout for more I like a lot of the yarn I'm using is thrifted here it, here is, it is uh, and this is huge so but yeah I'm definitely looking out for more like I'm thinking since I have it now this at least that I if I am in a yarn store or whatever if I see something like it I'll buy it uh, but I'm thinking maybe buy some blue ombre yarn to have as a sky uh, it's not like important right now but just a thought but I'm going to make the sides just a little panel with grass and just the sky blue and I'm thinking on because of the sunny side that I'm going to like continue the sun to have like this because it's gonna be space here so I'm just gonna connect the sun I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out and I'm also thinking of doing that blah, doing it on the hook whatever the thing you hold the purse like have the sun continue and also the sky so that's what I'm gonna do now while watching YouTube or maybe Vampire Diaries I went and got the bottom um but I realized oh it's so cold <laughs> yeah and guys I'm going to Oslo tomorrow the capital um because the brother of Jonas and his boyfriend and a friend they are visiting so we're going with them to Oslo for some sightseeing I guess uh, we might go to a museum, I'm not really sure, so I need to have a project so that I can work on like on the way to Oslo because it's about an hour uh, and like obviously back and maybe in Oslo because I don't know if we're at a cafe or something I just or yeah it's nice to have something to work on but it, this like it's too much so I need just a one skein project or like a one skein but I have like small like yarn balls uh, so I'm thinking maybe make a human just like a basic human yeah honestly I might do that just like a medium size like it being this tall or something yeah so I'll that's gonna be fun I'll pick out some yarn for that later today but let's begin on the side panels so I was just rudely interrupted by the iPhone telling me that the storage on my phone is full and I was like like I sh the it should have recorded my reaction because it was honestly but I was like huh because I just bought this phone with 128 gigabytes because my last phone only had 64 and that was like always full and I know because I used to have another phone with 128 gigabytes and it never went full and so I was so confused but I checked and it was actually because all of the finished videos that I've already posted that I made on CapCut were still on CapCut so the app CapCut app was like 60 gigabytes alone but I just deleted the videos that I have posted and so now we're down to 12 gigabytes so now I have like 50 or something 
left on the storage, so we're good. But like, pff, I was about to. Pff. Okay, let's continue. As I was trying to say, I just finished the grass part, and I'm going to begin on the sky, heaven, sky. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if this panel is going to be the one with the sun or if I'm going to do that on like the other panel. I'll see, like I most likely will because yeah, let's just see. Okay, I have now crocheted this much. <clears throat> I've decided to just make one panel and make it go like from the side and over to the other side and also this part of the bag. So then I just make one long. I was able to match up the sun pretty good. There is one part like right here where it is like one stitch off or something um but when i connect the fabrics together it will not be noticeable i think so i'm just going to continue now i have about this much left of yellow to finish the sun and then I'm going over with blue and then green again for the grass. So I'm very excited. Hello, it's Mother's Day. Ooh, and it's also Fasteladen. I don't know. I don't know what day that is, like, I can't, I don't know, but we make bolle, and so I have eaten two today without cream because mm, I've had better experiences with bolle and cream, but I love cream. And I also had some cake, so I'm very full, but I am done crocheting. The bag? Are you joking? I didn't want this to be too long because it will stretch. I'm not gonna like add something to make it not stretch, I think. Or maybe because of this, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I love the way, like I just, I made this. I made this. Okay. I still need to add, like, uh, what's it called? Line it, like, add the fabric inside, and that way it won't like, like, stretch when there's things inside. And I'm also thinking about maybe adding a zipper, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna just add it like this, like have a zipper just straight down here, or if I'm going to crochet. Like, so that the zipper is on the inside, I don't know. But I'm done crocheting this, so it could be used just like this. I'll try putting some stuff inside, like a remote. Of... Yeah, it does, like, go outwards. But again, when I add lining, it won't do that, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yes. So, when I went to Oslo, because that was yesterday, I did begin to crochet this. It's the beginning of a human leg. Just so that I have 
like had something to do. Um, yeah, uh, I think now I'm going to make a swatch for the sweater I'm going to knit for myself. <laughs> okay, I already have the yarn, like it's ready for me to begin knitting. Um, and I have a plan, like just make, do it like Jenna Phipps style, just make two panels, like front and back, and then do one arm, like just a circle, nothing, no increases or decreases, I think. I think I just want it to be like the same width all the way on the arm, and then just embroider or so in Mertine, either just like this, just regular Mertine, or like this, the like logo. It would be fun, because originally I think I thought of the logo, but now I'm thinking maybe just do, just do Mertine simple and easy like that and I also want to make it sort of off shoulder like so it just lays here maybe or all the way but then it might slide I'm not sure, like a little bit oversized something like that I'm not sure but I'll figure it out also I might because I bought really dark blue yarn because I'm really into blue but I'm thinking maybe switching over to light blue yarn. But again, that's for like when I'm finished with the sweater. So it's nothing to worry about now. But yeah, that, so I'm going to make a swatch now today. I'm going to round this video up now. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Mm. It would really, really help me if you... If you did enjoy the video or if you just enjoy this sort of content if you could subscribe and give it a like and also just comment down below anything really uh, any like video ideas or other youtubers that are like me um like creative mostly crocheting or also knitting but yeah mostly crochet and like vlog style because I really enjoy those type of videos and um, maybe if you are beginning like me on YouTube and you are like creative and an artist comment down below and I can subscribe to you you know um, I never can get enough of like creative youtubers like there's not enough of us like i need more <laughs> so yeah subscribe and i'll see you in the next video